Hello, <laughs> um, the star of the show is here. Hoo hoo hoo. Ah, <laughs> hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And I'm just finishing here. It's just an old canvas that needed revitalizing. It's an old canvas that needed some more power on it and more energy. Just the uh, painting on it before didn't quite have what I want. <laughs> I want to do something else. And I always do want to do something else, let's be honest. As soon as I've finished the painting, I'm thinking, hmm, what else can I paint? <laughs> So, what we got on the palette of colours, we've only got a few paints, titanium white, ivory black, ultramarine blue, dark, no, <laughs> burnt sienna, Van Dyke brown, and that's it. Got the old two inch brush, and what I did is I got a mixture of this ultramarine blue and ivory black, and that's it, just those two. And I've covered the canvas with that. And that's going to be our base. So you cover that with a very thin, even coat. Very thin, even coat. You can call that your liquid blue black. <laughs> Catchy, huh? <laughs> Let's use some liquid blue black. Yeah, I was thinking about just covering it with black. I don't know if you've ever bought the liquid black before. I used to have a tin of it. I never really used it because I never really thought of a way that I could use it to my benefit. <laughs> and then I came up with the idea of blue in it, just blue black instead. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough about that. Let's go straight into some painting. So, with the uh, dirty colour on my brush still, I am bothered. Or not bothered. So tap in some titanium white. And let's lighten this sky. Let's imagine there's a moon. <laughs> there's a moon here. Let's imagine there's a moon there. There we go. Looks like a moon. <laughs> it could be a moon. And then uh, we can work out from this moon area. And then work outwards. And then we get this sort of a, a grey blue colour. As we go out from the moon. And that's what we want. Well, that's what I want. <laughs> if, if you want to change yours, you can change it. You can always do something different. I'm going to put a mountain in it. I'm so addicted to painting mountains at the moment. I always want to put one in. <laughs> and for a long time I couldn't do them. So when you learn how, you're like, oh, I'm going to put a mountain in. I can do a mountain. I'll put one in. I might lighten that area. Just lighten it up a bit more. Give it a bit more of a glow. Something like that. And then what I might do while we're at it, 
So I already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I've painted this in my head a million times already. I'm going to have snow here. That's why you've got some paint on your brush. Might as well put it in, that Okay. Oh, let's use a knife. Knife there, actually. First things first. I needed a brush to put in some stars. <laughs> Star of wonder. Get some blue. I was going to start singing then. <laughs> Let's put in a few stars. I want a few little. Uh, so I've just loaded this liner brush, got it twisted as I loaded it, got the paint on. And I'm just going to put a few dots in. A few little stars here. I'm just making this up. I haven't got a star map to follow. <laughs> Something like that. And a few here. And you could put all kinds of different colours in if you wanted to. Just zoom in so you can see that better. So you can see that. Just put in some little dots like that. Fill it up. Bigger ones and smaller ones. I find the small ones come off if you really fast. Right, and now I've got my moon and some of this white. So I'm using the filbert brush, just load a bit of paint on. And I want the uh, rounded this here. We can have a full moon. We can make the choice, can't we? Sort of thinking about the uh, the marks on the moon that you see at the same time. Just stand back, have a look at that. I quite like that. It's really, it's a really loose. There's some paint there. Really loose way of doing a moon. And you can always uh, pick areas out. Like maybe this area. I want it to be a bit brighter. Something like that. It's good enough for me. <laughs> now, I've got the uh, mountain over here. I might get some black and blue. Black and blue, black and blue, we'll cut across. Look at all the paint, we've got our, our mountain, we're going to have it here. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's about right. I might have a little blip there. <laughs> Let 
maybe I'll have sort of a uh, bit that goes like that as well. Yeah, something like that. Let's use this uh, fan brush. When you get used to the materials, you'll find you can just pick up a brush, whether it's a fan brush or a filbert brush. It doesn't really matter. You just get used to all the materials and then you just pick them up and just use that. Today, that maybe that's in front of that. Don't know if you can see. I've gone this way here, and then this way here, just so I can work it out. Maybe that's like that. <laughs> Might be helping. I'm not sure. Right. Let's. Uh, Let's use this bluey colour as our highlight and look at all the blue and black in it. Let's have a look. Black and blue, blue and black. We, what we don't want is it to be super bright because the brightest bit is the moon. So when you mix in your colour, a good way of doing it is mix it and put it near your brightest area and if it's not as bright as that you're pretty safe <laughs> right let's uh... So we've got our highlight here Just scraping it there. Just scraping it. It's a bit there. I think about the angles I was going to have. I was going to have that join up, wasn't I? Have that join up there. Yeah, quite like that. <laughs> Sort of, kind of accidental in a way, because I uh, I prefer doing my highlights on this side. So this side is a bit more of a struggle for me, but it's uh, it is alright. It's fine. Happy accidents are good anyway. Let's see what happens. That's that's fun, isn't it? I bring that in front as well. Something like that. Yeah, quite like that. Now I might pick up a bit more of the blue. A bit more of the blue. A bit more of the black. So we're, we're darker still than the previous because this side is going to be our shadow side. But we put the uh, the blue and black on to make it darker. Quieter. Them angles. I really 
like it when you get that blue in there. like this looks like it should be darker that, that bit there so stand back have a look I think I could go a little bit lighter where the moon is in this bit. And this this area. Yeah, I like that. I create a bit of a separation here. Stand back, have a look. Kind of bring this together with that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. I think that'd be alright. What I might do. Use a bit of the blue and black on this fan brush. Well, before I do that, I'm just going to uh, mist some of the base of this. Just get a bit of a mist there. Uh, Some of this blue and black. I'm going to put a few trees. What I might do this time is just touch and push. Because I don't want the trees to be too big. I want it to be an indication of a few trees back here. the uh, two inch brush <laughs> just to lift them up a bit just sort of stand back have a look All right, I'm going to zoom out a bit Now I want some snow. So we'll have our snowiest snow. <laughs> well not our snowiest snow, our brightest snow here. And then we can take it out.
I'll pick up a little bit more of the light. Just want to brighten this bit up a bit more than the rest. Yeah, just stand back, have a look. Liking it? Right, now what I want, I want some trees. I want to use burnt sienna. Come here. Burnt Sienna, Van Dyke Brown, Ultramarine Blue. Cut across a little roll of paint. And our tree is going to be all the way from here, all the way down. I might not use the uh, I was thinking I'd put in two trees, or what do I make this one one big one? Maybe the branches connect. Yeah, let's make this a big tree. It's just a, a branch spullet there, isn't it? I might have a branch that goes round like that. Why not? Maybe there's another one there. <laughs> now I'm getting all into branches. <laughs> the branches and I might do another one I was gonna do another one there but I'm looking at it I'm thinking I don't think I want one change your mind you see things change just use the knife to scrape in some oh, I didn't want to do that don't want to remove paint really this tree's gonna get bigger A little bit more character. A bit more character. Maybe at one point he had a big branch there. But it got cut off. Interesting. Right, let's get a bit of this blue. It's blue and brown, a bit of white. Something like that. Cut across a little roll of paint. Have some of this moonlight just hitting this tree. Maybe I can just a tap. Touch more of the uh, moonlight just for this area. On top of that. Yeah, something like that. What I might do as well. I might get a little bit of the blue. A little bit of the blue, and just a few leaves. Mm. 
Mm, might leave it at that. Light of them. Snow on them. Go in there. Yeah, quite like that. Instead of a tree there, I might put a bush there instead. I might just use some dark. I don't, sometimes, I think when you're making things up, sometimes you can overpaint things. And uh, right now, I don't think I need to. A bit of, a bit of blue and white, just to add a little bit of light on. In areas. Keep some of it dark. Maybe use the knife. Scrape out a few sticks and twigs. Stand back, have a look. Now maybe go over some of those. Send them in a bit. Something like that. I'm tempted to do the same over here actually. Just put a bit of the blue. Maybe we'll plant that there now. <laughs> See how things quickly change, a bit dark behind it. Plant that there. Yeah, something like that. A little bit more dark on these. Maybe there's another tree over here in here are the branches. Like that. Yeah. So I think I'll call this one finished. I'll uh a little bit of a light, a light JB, uh, maybe there. So, thanks very much for watching this episode, and I'll hopefully see you at another one. Cheers, bye.